Thousands of anti-government protesters have clashed with riot police in Bahrain. Police in the capital have fired tear gas to disperse crowds in the capital. At least 50 people have been killed since unrest began in February. Well, for more, I can now cross live to Saeed Hadi al Masawi. He's a member of the opposition who was at the protests earlier today, joining me now from Manama. Now, um, as I say, you were there at the protest. Did you feel in any way that you were risking your life, bearing in mind that people have died in protests over the last few months there in Bahrain? Uh, actually, anyone uh, uh, try to participate in, in protests in Bahrain can be in dangerous because the root police uh, forces, they don't care of people's life and they don't even uh, care of how they uh, uh, treat them. They don't just uh, prevent you or warning you, but they shoot on your body as well. And this is what's happened in Bahrain on 22nd of last June when they uh, about to kill uh, Sheikh Ali Salman, the general secretary of Al Wufaq, and one person, his name Ali Al Muali, uh, being uh, severely injured, and still he is in the uh, hospital until now. Why are the police cracking down so hard? Is it because the protests are becoming more and more violent? Unfortunately, uh, they know very well that our uh, protests and our marches and our gathering is totally peaceful and they admit that they know that when we uh, apply uh, for uh, not for a permission just we uh, acknowledge them or giving them the notice they knows that the thousands of people comes to our protest and they come peacefully they participate peacefully and they leave peacefully but nowadays and since 13th of june they start refusing our uh, uh, application to uh, to protest peacefully uh, for uh, unknown reason they why, just said just tell me why are you protesting what are you angry about what are the main issues uh, as you know that since 14th uh, of february 2011 uh, the people in bahrain starts by the youth when they called for uh, a gathering in the uh, roundabout or per roundabout and peacefully they called for uh, pr uh, uh, reforms and uh, uh, calling for a real democracy in our country uh, and then uh, for one month, everybody was uh, uh, practicing their activities peacefully. But after that, on 15th of March, the government, they started their crackdown and they killed people and they prevent people uh, by um, uh, from uh, taking their uh, rights to protest or to shout or to have their uh, freedom of expression. Lots of people being killed, lots of people being injured, and uh, they jailed more than 2,929, according to B BICI report. Uh, is, there, now, is there any indication, sorry to interrupt, we haven't got a lot of time, is there indi any indication that the government will respond to your calls for reforms? Uh, the problem that the government have, or, or the authorities, let's say, and between two brackets that the, the ruling family, uh, still they did not prepare themselves for the people demands. And we are uh, calling for, uh, for example, for elected government. And we are calling for uh, 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 fair electoral, uh, electoral uh, uh, district. We are calling for an independent uh, judiciary. So we are not calling for something uh, uh, Ununderstandable by the by the uh, uh, international uh, global world. Everybody knows that the people would like to have better life. They want to have uh, fairness in in their life. But okay, just, just, just briefly, Saeed. We, we, just briefly, we've seen the U.S. come out strongly against regimes in the Arab world when there have been large-scale public demonstrations. Haven't heard much from Washington over this. Indeed, we haven't heard much from the international media about these protests in Bahrain. Why is that? There is a big conflict by by the uh, uh, by the American uh, um, uh, intention to help the Arab uh, uh, uprising. Uh, in Bahrain, there is a very big issue. You know that Saudi Arabia is so close to us and the relationship between USA and Saudi Arabia is very strong. 
and the fifth fleet in our country as well. So the the complication here in our country uh, can't be compared with the uh, with the regime, for example, in in Syria, which has no good relationship between the uh, United States and and the regime there. All right, but just briefly, just briefly, I've got to ask you: Could we see a Syria? Syria like scenario developing there in Bahrain, just very briefly. I don't believe that the American will help us in this issue like what they do for Syria, but I think they can take a right role to, uh, to uh, uh, recommend or to help our uh, authorities here not to keep things going worse and worse, and the country is losing lots of things in economic and social and safety and security and everything in development. So the American can do lots of things by uh, telling their friends here to be uh, fair and uh, logic by dealing with our uh, demands. Saeed Hadi Al Musawi, former MP there in Bahrain, thank you very much indeed for your time. Thanks for joining us.